this is the story. Katie and Jack find a glowworm by Suzanne Krobler for Granny Mouse's Children's Stories. Katie and her brother Jack were playing with sticks in the garden, pretending the sticks were swords. They were clashing the stick swords together, then running away and chasing each other. It was so much fun. Jack ran and ducked down behind a rock in the garden, hoping Katie wouldn't find him. He stayed very quiet. But Katie jumped on top of the rock and shouted, Gotcha! She pointed her stick in his direction and took him prisoner. She led him to the biggest tree in the garden. This was their jail area. When they reached the tree, he sat down. He would have to close his eyes and count to 20, giving Katie time to run away. He was just going to start counting, but he saw a little light flashing by his feet. Katie had already started running away, but when she didn't hear him counting, she stopped and scolded. Hey! You're supposed to be counting! Come look! I found something, Jack said. Katie came back and he showed her the little flashing light. What could it be? asked Katie. Light reflecting off something in the grass? asked Jack. They bent their heads closer and saw that it was a worm. The worm had a light flashing on its tail. Katie was still a bit of a scaredy cat, so jumped up and started shouting, Mom! Mom! Mommy! As she ran towards the house, calling her mom to come look. Jack didn't wait for their mom. He gently picked up the worm and started heading towards the house. Mom came out and asked, Katie, what's wrong? Katie reached her mom and said, We found a worm, but he's sick. He has a tail light, but it keeps on going off and on again. Mom looked towards Jack, who was walking towards them slowly with the worm cupped in his hands, and asked to see it. Jack opened his hands and showed Mom the worm. Mom studied the worm carefully and said, That's a glow worm! He's not sick! They're meant to glow! The light flashes on and off to show off for girlfriends. When a girlfriend likes him, her tail light will flash in the same way. Oh, he's so cute! Can we keep him as a pet? asked Katie. Mom sadly shook her head and said, He's a wild creature. He will not be happy as a pet. Katie and Jack were very sad. They would have loved to keep the glowworm as a pet. Mom came up with an idea and said, Hmm, I've got an idea. Why don't I set up the tent and you can both sleep outside tonight and watch what he does. The kids loved this idea and both happily agreed. They ran inside and grabbed their pillows and sleeping bags. Mom packed dinner and lunch boxes for Jack and Katie. Mom then brought the tent and set it up right near the tree where Jack found the glowworm. Katie and Jack fluffed their pillows, straightened their sleeping bags, and waited until the sun started to set.
Jack carefully put the glowworm back where he found it. They lay on their sleeping bags with their heads out the tent watching the glowworm. The glowworm crawled up and down the branches, wiggling his little bum, making the light dance up and down as he went. The glowworm paused and watched a slug cross the path in front of him before crawling up to it and eating it. Ugh! Katie was disgusted. But Jack said, That was so cool. They carried on watching him climb a little higher before Katie said, Hmm, I'm hungry now. Jack and Katie took out their lunch boxes and ate their dinners inside their tent, then stuck out their head again to watch what the glowworm was doing. The glowworm carried on climbing, and Katie noticed another light flashing. Jack, look! Another one, Katie said, pointing it out to him. They watched the glowworms come closer together while flashing their lights. They got so close to each other and said hello by touching their feelers together. They, st they then started walking with each other and climbed so high that Jack and Katie couldn't see them anymore. said Katie. Me too, replied Jack. So they closed their eyes and fell asleep. A few hours later, Katie woke up when she saw a bright light outside. Jack, wake up! It's daytime, she called as she shook him. They stuck their heads outside the tent and saw they were surrounded by hundreds of glowworms. They were the children of the glowworm they found. One by one, the glowworms walked away. Now that was cool, said Katie. Yeah, that was cool. I'm glad we saw that, agreed Jack. Because it was still night time, the kids both yawned and went back to sleep. The next morning, when they woke up, the glowworms were gone. Jack and Katie raced inside to tell Mom about what the glowworm and his friends did last night. The end. For more stories, follow Granny Mouse's Children's Stories on YouTube.